What's up guys, it's your boy Nick and we're back with another episode of Virtual Tailgate. Today what we're doing is showing you what will happen is if you come home from a bad fishing trip, you've only caught one little guy, two pound red fish. What am I gonna do with that? I mean, uh, you know, can't bring anybody over to the house and eat and whatnot. Well, what we're gonna do is just cook this little guy on the half shell but just like when you light a pit, it's very hard not to put smoked sausage on it. It's very hard for me not to put some shrimps on the Barbie. So what we're gonna do is a little surf and surf. Redfish on the half shell and some grilled shrimp. Head and tail on, I'm gonna take that midsection off. Give them a little mid drift. Put some seafood magic, salt, pepper, a little olive oil and lemon and we're off to the races. Gang, watch how easy this is gonna be. A lot of times you guys get out there and you're catching the little ones, uh, or even worse, you're only catching one. Um, so what, <clears throat> what we're gonna do today is show you what you do. We got a little one, two pound, uh, this is one, two pound redfish here. And you know, at first sight, it's like, I don't wanna mess with that or whatnot. But what you need to do is go ahead and gut it and then vacuum seal it and put it in your freezer or and do what I'm about to do here and then vacuum seal it and put it in your freezer. So all we're going to do, <clears throat> you know, you guys have seen it. We're going to put it on a half shell. All right, so this one hasn't been gutted yet. We're going to leave the scales on. Uh, it's small. You're going to watch the, those scales, but the way I do it is I go really close to the backbone now on these little guys you got to be super careful because you don't want to lose any meat it's all very important <coughs> of course the rib cage is going to give you all that trouble but you guys know how to clean redfish Okay, once you've got your fillets here and they're cleaned out, um, you're like, man, that's not a whole lot of meat. And you know what? You're right. It's not a whole lot of meat. We'll get to that in a minute. So for these, it's a very simple seasoning, olive oil, making sure we're evenly coated. And Paul Prudhomme Seafood Magic. And again, we know we can do a heavy coat, even though these are tiny fillets. The smaller the fillet, the more important it is to keep it on a half shell, because basically all we're doing uh, is baking this thing inside the smoker. That's gonna give it a little bit of protection from the heat as well. Um, okay, so, We're gonna put a couple of lemons on top of these also. Boom. Now we're gonna to go to the smoker. So we only have about six ounces of fish. If you're feeding two people, uh, that's not a whole lot. So we got the grill lit. Let's throw some shrimp on the Barbie. Now, what we have is some um, 2125s head on here. Uh, look, we're gonna do something special today. This is a little different. We're just going to take the shell off. We're gonna leave the tail and the head on 
um, that's going to give it a cool presentation. And uh, it's, you know, it's going to give it some more aroma in there. It's not going to really do too much for your flavor. But wait until you see this plated. It's going to be really good. You're going to think Boo came to your house. Make sure you get your legs. And you want to go all the way to the last notch there. And then devein them. These are deveined and whatnot. So check it out. We're going to put the same seasonings as we did on the fish. Just a little olive oil, seafood magic, and some salt and pepper. Okay, there we have it. Looks like everything is about ready. The fish is really soft to the touch and the shrimp are pink and firm. All right, as you can see, we pulled everything off. Now this is fast. Food, ladies and gentlemen um, what I have is some um, steamed asparagus I got the biggest ones I can find um, and I got some wild rice it's a wild rice blend we're gonna get a piece of this fish in here I'm gonna get a couple of these shrimp these beautiful things now to pair with it I have a cold French white it's a pick pool de penne I'm gonna tell you something. This is one I did nothing on. I did no research. I did no reading about. I've never had it. I saw it. I picked it up. And uh, I believe it to be um, a dry white uh, in the vein of everything that I've been drinking. Uh, let's see. I mean, it fits in the glass, so that uh, that's that's a good thing. And it is, in fact, a brisk, dry white, a little tart. It should go perfect. All right, I'm going to hit a little bit of lemon on everything. Lemon is the best friend of this meal. The larger part of this fish, and it should just flake right off. So beautiful. This one is so tenderoni. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. The rice is so simple. The asparagus and the shrimp. Oh. You guys never throw back those redfish that are just not big enough or you only got one. Don't do it. It's a beautiful thing right here. This is so good. This is so good. I don't want to exaggerate it. It's just so good. So easy. Easy to clean. Easy to cook. Simple ingredients and it's perfect. I want you to realize that every day is what you make it and every day is game day. How do you virtual tailgate? Good one guys. Ooh.